retinogram is an eye test that evaluates the function of the retina, which is a film that lines the inside of the eye. The processes that start vision take place in the retina. The retina is the most metabolically active tissue in the body. The ERG test helps diagnose diseases limited to the retina and also diseases that affect parts of the body other than the eye. The idea of the ERG test is that when flashes of light come to the eye, the rods and the cones and the other cells in the retina make tiny amounts of electricity. If we know exactly how much light comes to the eye and how much electricity comes out, we can figure out how the cells, including the rods and the cones, are working. To pick up the electricity that the retina makes, contact lens-like electrodes are placed in the surface of the eye. It may not be possible for a child to hold still for the contact lenses in flashes of light. For these children, the ERG may be best done under anesthesia. The anesthesia doctors determine the appropriate anesthesia. Depending on your child's medical condition, it may be important to have a pre-anesthesia consultation with the anesthesia doctors. To prepare for this test, first of all, drops will be placed in your child's eye to dilate the pupils and to enlarge the black spots in the middle of the eye. These drops are the same drops that eye doctors routinely use for examination of the eyes. Then you will be asked to sit with your child in a dark room for 30 minutes. This is so the eye can adjust the darkness. It is after this period of dark adaptation that the retina gives its strongest responses. During the 30 minutes in the dark, there is a radio available. Also, you may bring favorite audio tapes and a player. Some children may enjoy a small snack. After the period of dark adaptation, the actual testing is done in a dark room and takes about 30 to 45 minutes to record a full range of responses. If the child is under anesthesia, the time in the operating room is approximately one hour. This includes the time to establish the anesthesia, the ERG test itself, the examination of the eyes, and reversing the anesthesia. The actual ERG test time is 20 to 30 minutes. If the range of responses is reduced, the duration of the testing will be shorter. The ERG test does not hurt, beyond the momentary stinging of the drops that are used to dilate the pupils and the anesthetic drops used just before the contact lenses are placed. The hard part of the test is holding still. It is recommended that parents stay with their child all through the period of dark adaptation and the test. For infants and young children, a bottle or a pacifier can be helpful. It is also helpful for the parents to hold the child's hands gently so that the contact lenses cannot be touched. As with any other contact lens, it is possible to scrape the surface of the eye. This is not a typical problem with ERG, however. And the precautions that are exercised are important to minimize the chance of any scraping of the eye's surface. At the conclusion of the test, the lights are turned back on and the contacts are removed. The surfaces of the eyes are checked with fluorescein drops to look for any signs of scraping by the contact lenses. If the child is under an anesthetic, he or she will be moved to a recovery room. <laughs>